pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me stack. I'm a snide, how you fall, so you get right back. Go. This is Two Year Eternity, Season 2, Episode 12. Let's dive right into it and see what's popping off. Oh, yeah, that's when the other immortals met Fushi. I get why Fushi's acting like that, though, man. But you got to kind of obtain the people's trust, man. You know, so. And I feel like he might have done that a little bit when he rebuilt the, the little uh water factory right there. Let's get it. Episode 12, Secret Behind the Veil. So we're finally going to see the princess or her majesty or whatever she is. Nah. Oh, they're friends. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, man, see, I know something's going to happen now, now that we know that they're friends and they were promised to be married to each other and everything. Uh, so she was reminiscing. But I definitely feel like something's going to happen now that we got this little backstory all of a sudden. Well, they so they all upset, man. Y'all need to chill out. I mean, you can't help somebody unless they want help. I mean, I get it. You know, she's a little skeptical, but we keep telling y'all, man. <laughs> ah, what the what kata, what kata. <laughs> Well, he is earning the trust of the people. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's connected and tethered to Fushi. Mm. 
Right. Oh, come on, fool. She don't be like that. <laughs> right. You ain't the only one that's doing stuff, man. He the only one that got stuff going on, man. Oh, uh, Fushi, you can't be looking down on humans, man. So these are the people we saw in the opening. Oh, he's doing this for chicks. What's up with his arm, though? Because, like, we heard it, like, twist or crack or whatever, but, like, he didn't really feel the pain or whatever until... Uh, Fushi, you have got to get off this high horse that you're on now. Oh, he doesn't feel pain. But see, he getting these backstories that he might have didn't want to, but. Oh, that's messed up, man. Well, he had somebody that treated him nice. Like, he, he might have didn't want to learn about them and, you know, connect to them or whatever. But he is... At the same time, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Nice, man. Oh. 
Oh, with the, the talk with the T. Oh, my gosh. Something's going to happen yet again. Wood teeth. Oh, he lost he lost the good adoptive mother. Oh my gosh. How is he possessed by a demon? He just couldn't feel pain. But the sad thing about that is he doesn't know when he's actually hurt either. You know what I'm saying? Like a serious injury or wound, he won't feel it. Come on, Fushi, you have got to calm down. Right. We know that our life is on the line, but this is what we asked for. We know what we're doing. He's starting to see the picture now, man. Now he's starting to see it. It took him a minute, but. <laughs> I don't trust you after all. <laughs> We were never close. We just knew each other. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, it's taking too long. You can't rebuild every house anyway. Right, he gonna become one of the squad, right? I figure it out. <laughs> Oh my 
my gosh. Oh, Fushi, you have got to get this chip off your shoulder, man. P humans die, man. That's that's the purpose of life. Not the only purpose, but it's it's a part of life constantly. For royalty, right? Oh, so they were friends. That's why he done that too. And introduced him to Fushi. He was never really interested. It seems like he was never really interested in anything. Right, because they are close. He has got to get this chip off his shoulder, man. You can't do that for every city and town all over the world, man. The world is a big place. Now he's starting to act like um, the man in black. You see how he just faded into the roof like that? I wonder, can he win? He been training, so we'll see. You to trust us. <laughs> you need to move. <laughs> well, the people are starting to get behind it. Okay, so that's cool. Maybe this will let Fushi see something different, man, because he's been acting like a real pompous jerk as of late. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's his sister. Well, like long distance half sister. And, you know, back in those days, you know, it was totally fine to marry your siblings, you know, so <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> but the story part of it is nice, man. She's his sister. That's that's not bad at all, man. Okay. That was To Your Eternity Season 2, Episode 12. We learned that Missar and Princess Almy, Alma, however you want to say her name, they're siblings, but we all know, like, you know, back in those times, man, it was nothing for someone to marry their siblings. So, you know, that's that's not even in question at this point. But the fact that, you know, he sort of kind of maybe doesn't want the throne, you know what I'm saying? But he'll do it to protect his sister, a.k.a. love interest or what. I, You know, that whole dynamic is weird. So I'm going to just drop it and leave it at that. <laughs> but um, overall, it was a nice episode. We see how Misar does things. He's a little different from everybody else. And Fushi kind of formed that connection with him as well. He started to see things a little bit differently. And I'm hoping that we get to see Fushi in a different light because he's been acting real pompous. And like a jerk lately in these past couple episodes. So hopefully, you know, that part of Fuchi is over with because Miss Art has got her to give them her, her trust, if you will. You know what I'm saying? To save the people of the city or whatnot. So hopefully going forward, we'll see Fuchi act a little bit differently because he's been acting a little bit cold and calculative a little bit as of late. But overall, the episode was nice. We get to see Miss Art when he was young with his... I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Love interest slash sister, you know, you got, you got some real Games of Thrones stuff going on over here. Um, but we see how him and Bond met each other when they were younger, and technically he is royalty, but you know, it's it's kind of so far down, you know what I'm saying? He's like third or fourth in line, you know, so it really don't matter at that point. But it's nice to get this information that we're getting, and the episode was a. Episode was a little dull in my opinion, but the information part of it is what I really enjoyed. We got the um the backstory about um old dude that doesn't feel pain, you know, from his wooden teeth, his wooden teeth, his other fake teeth. So like there was there were some good parts in this episode. Besides the episode being a little dull, you know, there were there were some good moments throughout the entire episode that I really did enjoy. Like I said, finding out how old dude is connected to um how Misara is connected to the princess, how he's connected to royalty, how he met Bone, um, the old dude, you know, uh, that doesn't feel pain. And, you know, they pulled all his teeth out, you know, his whole backstory and getting connected to the other dude from the opening that, you know, is possibly going to join the squad. So it's nice, but I feel a little heartbreak in there somewhere, man, because the way that we met uh, Misara and, um, you know, how him and his sister kind of interacted in the very beginning of the episode, I feel like some heart heartbreak may come eventually down the line with that kind of situation because we know how to your eternity plays with the heartstrings and everything, man. This is really incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash any more. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life. Peace out. Today, yeah, I cannot complain because today, yeah, I'm doing my